So we got a new update from Mint about the Rolly 35 camera, and this one is some of the biggest news yet. So let's check it out. The new Rolly 35 AF unites a vintage charm with modern functionality, capturing the hearts of photographers seeking the perfect blend of past and present. The blog goes on to show a graph, kind of showcasing the difference between the older Rolly 35 models and the new Rolly 35 AF. The old Rolly 35s were both zone focus, whereas the new Rolly 35 AF will be auto focus, which is a huge update for the camera. Next, the lens is a five element all glass lens. I don't know nearly enough about lens design to fully comprehend all the subtleties, but generally the simpler the lens, the fewer the elements. Old school primes often have a few elements and thus are very good at transferring light since there's less glass. Conversely, modern zoom lenses usually have a lot of elements, they have a more complicated job to do, and they often need more light and or become larger to compensate for the more complicated design. If someone could explain more thoroughly in the comments, I'm sure we would all be very grateful. As for focal length, the new camera dons a 35mm f2.8 compared to the 40mm lens on the older models. As someone who likes wider lenses in general, I'm a fan of that, but I can't imagine that the 45 millimeter was a unique length to shoot on. Obviously there is an auto mode on the new 35 AF as it does have autofocus. Additionally, there is a built-in flash on the new model, which again is a really nice update, especially if they can keep the same compactness of the old ones. There is also a timer, which they're calling a selfie button. Oh, what a time to live in. <laughs> On top of the camera, there's an OLED display, which I'm not quite sure what it'll all be able to display, especially at that small of a size, but combining newer technology with these analog cameras is something that definitely intrigues me. The blog ends with a beautifully written description about what the hopes and dreams of this camera are. Rolly's romance encapsulates a world of enchantment and nostalgia. With every click of the shutter, a symphony of emotion unfolds, capturing fleeting moments and preserving them in timeless beauty. Like a whispered secret, Rolly cameras evoke a sense of wonder and allure, inviting you to explore the art of photography with a touch of old world charm. Where light dances gracefully, shadows whisper tales, and memories are etched with a touch of ethereal romance. Rolly's agency is woven with dreams Dreams, capturing not just images, but also the essence of the human spirit. While I think it is easy to take this as kind of marketing jargon, I guess, I do think the excitement and eagerness that Mint has producing this camera is a really good sign for the future for not only this camera, but more products from them in general. Like I've said many times on the channel, it's gonna take a passionate team of people, in addition to patient and willing consumers to create worthwhile film products in today's digital age. That being said, this project, as well as some of the other news about Pentax's camera, Lucky Film coming back, etc., is all great and makes for an exciting time for film, I think. As for the camera, I think making this camera more user-friendly with its automatic features is a great move for the camera. With the rising popularity of film point and shoots, I think catering to a similar audience opens up their market way more than typical zone focus type cameras. I think on those cameras, the learning curve is much higher than automatic, obviously, and the price of film. Noobs can't be wasting their money on useless frames, and I can't blame them. I don't wanna waste frames, films, or money ultimately, and I know what I'm doing for the most part. As for the camera costing $600 to $800, uh, as reported in a previous post, initially I think that is kind of a lot and gives a little bit of a sticker shock, but thinking about it more logically, I think that is a more appropriate price. Considering that the original Rolly 35S costs close to $1,700 in today's equivalent, the price sounds reasonable for a compact, newly designed and created autofocus camera. I'm doing my damnest to try to get this camera early from Mint to showcase it to you guys. So any help on the video, liking, commenting, etc., cetera, uh, would help get it a lot more traction and hopefully let Mint see it and send you boy a camera. Otherwise, let me know down in the comments what you think about this news. Do you think going more automatic is a good call for Mint with their Rolly? Personally, I think this will interest more beginner and intermediate shooters for the camera, which I think is a great sign for Mint. Otherwise, it's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for more Mint news coming soon. Um, yeah, otherwise until the next one, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay shooting. Adios, fellas.